Hey everybody, looks into Swirl here, new day, new cup project. I've been watching the Purple Stitch for a long time now, and she has a few of these turners and has advocated for them, has reviewed them, has really liked them. And it's from <laughs> the one place it says on the outside of the box, I guess it says it on the side, Globius. These are, or Globus. Glo Globus, Globius, well, however you choose to pronounce that word. This is a Turner, it is an entire kit, actually. It's the Turner and a whole bunch of other stuff. And we are gonna, we are gonna look through it. We are gonna use it, we are gonna test it. Um, and the reason I was so interested in this, as opposed to all the other Turners I have that work great, is because the one thing this does that none of my other Turners do is it allows you to take the PVC pipes off the turner easily. You don't have to unscrew them. I'm going to quickly point the camera in another direction. Hopefully this won't make anyone ill. Forearm turner, this baby here. And the arms do unscrew, so I can, after I put resin on, if I want to take the wand off and the cup off, I can unscrew it and do that and then screw it back on. But it's, it's not as easy as it sounds. And this system, you just pull the arm off. You don't have to wedge it back on, you just pull it off and you put it back on. At least that's how it's supposed to work. So that's what we're gonna test. And also how much I like the turner for a bunch of other reasons. So we have extra arms. We have a silicone mat. Like I said, it comes with a bunch of stuff. We have some measuring cups and a, a single screw. That's a little concerning, but okay. We have different kinds of things to hold the cups on to the arms, different sizes of foam, a couple different sizes of pool noodle type material. We have these two stands, which is another thing I'm interested in. This looked easier to me. We're gonna test this out. You just put the arms on here and let the, let the cup dry. Another silicone tool, always helpful. Another cup with, ooh, we get some gloves. Those are, those are pretty exciting to receive these days. And finally, we have our machine. It is very heavy. Oh look, more screws. I think that's if you want to screw it down to a table or something, I don't. So three more screws to go with our single screw that was in the cup. I will put them all together and keep them in case I need them. So we have three of these, like that. Three arms and you can just, you can just, there we go, put it in there and your cup's sitting there and it can, if you just, I don't know, applied glitter onto a Tacket cup or a Mod Podge cup or an epoxy method cup or whatever, and you, you don't need to turn it, you just need it to set and dry. You put it right there and then when you're ready, take it off of here, put it on the turner. Okay, so here's our turner. It goes both ways. On the back we have Nice on off switch that's encased in plastic so resin and alcohol inks and anything else that might get in there won't, won't affect the switch. On off. Uh, I assume turning direction is turning it off and on until it switches direction like it is with most turners. And then we have our plug. All right, so there we have it. That's pretty compact, that's pretty cute. So this is designed to go right on here like that. Ta-da! And it should remove, oh my God, like that. All right, so maybe not as easy as I thought. If you push it on all the way, you don't have to. I could put it on like that. Let's put a cup on here so you can see things actually moving. There we go. Now you can see it moving. It's beautifully quiet. Listen. Very quiet, I like that a lot. That can change over time as the motor wears down, but for now, sounds great. All right, let's see if we can get it to change direction. Yep, there it goes. Well, that was easy. Okay, so far so good. Now the true test, of course, is going to be to do a tumbler on it. And it would make sense to do a tumbler where I would want to take the cup off the turner, right? So that's what we're gonna do. I have a 30 ounce skinny taper it's not a straight, it's a taper. You can also use a, hello, a um, Dollar Tree Nerf football type thing. That would work too. However you have yours set up that works best for you. People use all sorts of different things to try and <laughs> keep their tumblers from moving around, except the way they're supposed to be turning. Okay, 
So that's in there. Good. So here's how we're going to test this. And it could be tricky because there's not a whole lot of room here for me to get my hand in and pull it off. So I may still make a mess of things. But in theory, this should work better than me having to unscrew it. But I'm going to do an alcohol ink swirl cup. I am going to use a new epoxy I'm trying out. Okay, so Deborah Jo, one of my longtime wonderful regular viewers, twigged me to the fact that the epoxy resin store, where she and I both get our ClearCast 7050, which is great for molds, is now offering a specific tumbler epoxy resin. So I got some. We have part A. It's called Tumblr's Coating Epoxy and part B. One to one ratio, same as most tumbler resins. So I'm gonna mix up about 30 milliliters. So 15 milliliters of part A, 15 milliliters of part B. Mix them together, put them on the cup. I will probably mix in some rainbow, Marabou rainbow alcohol ink, just because, why not? Then I'm gonna start dropping on alcohol inks. And here are the inks I've chosen. This is a kind of odd color. I wanted to do something a little different than black or white. I got a can of this a while ago and never used it. So I thought, oh, okay. This is Rust-Oleum 2X in Sage. <laughs> Sage green. Once I put the um, epoxy resin on, I'm gonna drop on a whole slew of alcohol inks here. Most of these are from T-Rex. We have our glasses and deep sea blue, space black, just a tiny bit of starlight silver. I don't wanna go nuts with that because it'll take over probably. Monsoon, which is a lovely blue gray, Pacific blue, purple, and amethyst purple. Plus, just because I wanna see what it looks like, I'm also gonna use one of my mica hulls. So these are all alcohol inks. This is a mica hull, meaning I took 99% isopropyl alcohol, put it in a bottle, and I added, say, a quarter teaspoon of pink, mica to it. This is, I believe, Barbie from Woody's Goodies. So I'll shake it up before I drop it on, but that'll just, it'll be, it'll be a little different than all the alcohol inks. Uh, then we'll hit it with some heat, um, heat gun, and then I will try and take it off of here without messing it up too much. We'll see how that goes. We'll tilt it, put it back on to see if there's a benefit to this with a big cup. It might only work with little cups that give you more room for your hands. I don't know. This is all a test. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to gear up and all that. Just sit back and enjoy the show. Yeah. 
And we're back. So how did this turn out? Well, it, it is spectacular. It is a little darker. I grant you that uh, the black, as I suspected, took over, but all the other micas and alcohol inks still show up. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that look at this. This is like my favorite part of the cup, this spot right here. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Um, I was wrong. I want to correct something. This pink mica is actually a shift. It is not the Barbie, which is a beautiful pink mica from Woody's Goodies, but this is actually uh, Rocket Man. It shifts from pink to green, which is why on the black, it went on a little pink, you may remember, but it, uh, it turned almost to gold. That's the, the green shift function. So that's beautiful. All the purples that showed up are gorgeous. The deep blues are here too. We have a little bit of blue. I mean, this is just, it, it's dark, but it's stunning. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much, <laughs> more than I thought. I was watching it turn after I turned off the camera last night and I thought, oh, please don't all disappear. This is too pretty to lose. I just think it's beautiful. And wait till you see this out in the sunshine. But before we do that, I wanted to take this opportunity to finish up the video by telling you my thoughts on the two products we tested. First of all, the Globius Turner worked beautifully. These work great too, by the way, these, um, these stands. Very easy. And then this, this works great. It will take me a little time to get used to especially with a big cup like this, pulling it on and off while the cup is, you know, wet. Things are moving around and whatnot. But I didn't, I didn't have any problems. It was a little cumbersome because I'm not used to doing it, but I managed to get the wand off. I didn't drop the cup or hit anything or touch the cup with my hands or anything like that. That was what I was hoping for. And again, practice will make perfect, I'm sure. This was beautifully quiet. I didn't hear it at all, all night long. The compact size, how heavy it is. It didn't move around at all while I was putting on the resin or anything. I love this. I'm so glad I got it. Uh, links to everything below. And now let's talk about the resin because that was a little different. This is what it looks like. Tumblr's Coating Epoxy from the Epoxy Resin Store. I love how it turned out. I used it on two different cups. I've been testing out a lot of epoxies on tumblers. And the one thing that was different about this was the viscosity. It went on just fine. It went onto the cup just fine, but it started dripping off. So even though I felt like I was applying it exactly the same as I always do, same amount coming out of the cup as I, as I poured it on and then it was falling off the cup. I ended up scooping up an awful lot off the table. It takes a little getting used to, but once it was on the tumbler, it behaved beautifully. It moves around beautifully. It dried gorgeous. Crystal clear coat. Bubbles popped, no problem. This case, I didn't even have to use any heat. Uh, the alcohol inks took care of any bubble issues here. On the other one, there was no alcohol ink in involved. So I torched it, got rid of the bubbles, no bubble issues at all. It looks perfect the next day. To summarize, I love the new epoxy I'm using from the epoxy resin store, and I love my new turner. Yay! In case you're in the market for either a new epoxy for tumblers, or a new turner for tumblers. My two cents. <laughs> the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's go out in the sunshine and see this thing dazzle.